Hi guys, Troy and Melanie from the Do-It-Yourself World and the Off-Grid Project. Melanie on Off-Grid Homesteading with Melanie channel uh, mixed us up some dough for noodles. We're going to make some noodles today. All natural, homemade noodles. Now I've set this to the uh, widest setting. And first what we're going to do is run the flour through the press. should probably press it out a little bit so it goes in a little. Run the flour through here to flatten it and spread it out. I'm going to run it through two or three times like this, depending on how it feels at this setting. And then I'll go with ever decreasing sizes until we get to the smallest size. I'm going to go one more setting down. This was, by the way, a wedding gift to me and Melanie, which we very much appreciate because we're trying to become self-sufficient and uh, making your own noodles, although they're cheap, is healthy and fun because we know what's in it. We can put healthy ingredients in our noodles and uh, make it absolutely all natural. Occasionally spread some more flour on your dough so it doesn't stick inside. Nor to itself, for that matter. It looks like a lasagna already. <laughs> yeah. There is an, a lasagna maker attachment for this device, which is sort of cool. I might need a little bit more flour to, to spread okay. on things. And we keep on going until we get the final setting and a long strand for noodles. Now we have to take a 10 minute break. We have to lay our noodles out and powder them a little bit. So we're going to spread it out on the table and it's a little bit sticky. See that on the corner? I hope it isn't going to give us any trouble. Uh oh. Okay, I'm going to have to run it through again. I have to hit it with flour because it got sticky on the last little bit there. Alright, I've got to powder this up and we'll run it through again and then we let it sit for 10 minutes because you don't want your, your uh, noodle base to be too uh, sticky and wet when you make it. So we'll be back in 10 minutes guys. I'm just going to run this through one more time and break out the wrinkles. Hey guys. There is one batch. I'm actually going to have these because I had to cut that in half. It was very awkward to handle to um, get that done. So I had to spread that out and cut it in half. So we're going to do it a little bit different on the next round. And I'm going to run these all through. Well, that one's drying. And by the time I'm done running these through, that one will be ready to cut into uh, pasta. So now Melanie's having her hand at making pasta. We're both going to have some fun today. I like it. It's very relaxing somehow. Yeah. So I had to rework the first batch. It um, was too wet for some reason when I put it through. So um, I reworked that. And then Melanie's, uh, well then I did a second batch and Melanie's doing a third. Also cutting them Cutting the dough into smaller sections helps a lot. So, anyway, we're going to run all these through and then we're going to make some pasta. Hey guys, well, we've run all our flour through and now I put on the cutting attachment. This one has a spaghetti cutter and a noodle cutter. Reminds me of chicken noodle soup. And that's what we're going to make today is the chicken noodle soup. Well, we're probably do half and half for fun, right, Melanie? Yeah. So I'll take the first bit we got. Can you see in the camera? I had it drying on the rack. Now it still feels a little bit moist, so I'm going to 
run a lot of flour on it before I run it through the machine. I don't want it to stick. Now Melanie is going to put her hand under there and capture it in the palm of her hand. And then she's going to ease that out. I don't, yeah, it shows well. She's going to follow through with her second hand. And the reason for this is once it comes out, it's easier to drape onto the drying rack, which then we'll show you in a second here. Almost there, Melanie, and go. And we follow Melanie over to the drying rack here. And it goes right on with ease now. Okay, guys, I found a way to do this on my own. It's awkward, because Melanie's cooking. I had to figure it out. But it can be done with one person. So I start it out. It requires me to move around a little bit. I get it started in here. Get a little bit going down there. And then I just turn myself around and get my hand under there. Right? The idea is to keep it all flat in my hand and then feed it through the machine. If I keep it flat in my hand as I feed it through, then I can take that onto the rack all in one shot. No mess, no problem. Slide it off my fingers onto the drying rack. And there it is. Making pasta is going to be messy. Very messy. Here we have a whole bunch of it on the drying rack. And right now I'm starting a batch with herbs. Uh, oregano and basil Melanie just made. So she's cooking in the kitchen. And I'm uh, going to run this batch through the pasta maker. And then it sits there to dry on the racks. Hey guys, there is the spaghetti with herbs in it and the pasta noodles. Um, Melanie says it was two cups each, so however much weight that is, it looks like a whole lot more than a pound of spaghetti. Um, feels heavy too, I'm not sure. I mean, if you put that in a pasta box, that's probably two packs at least of pasta and two spaghetti packs or three or four anyway looks like a lot so um, I don't think we have a way to to weigh that but there it is two cups each of flour gives you this much pasta each hey guys Melanie used the entire batch of noodles and there's a portion there and uh, we're going to have dinner. So that's a good two meals though I think out of there.